Hey everyone, this is Ray Yoga Videos and my name's Kendra. Today I've had a request for a yoga video specifically for the knees. So we'll work on strengthening the muscles around the knees and then also do balancing postures and stability postures to get the knee feeling super healthy. If you have any knee pain, make sure to be kind to yourself and slow things down, listen to your body, and be consistent in exercises and rehab that will get your knees feeling back to 100% healthy. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. Let's start on our backs. When you get there, let the knees be hip width apart, the knees are bent, arms lengthening down towards your torso, turn the palms to face the ceiling. We're taking a moment to let ourselves get settled in. Closing the eyes. Elongating the inhalation and exhalation. A couple deep full breaths. Giving yourself this time to be completely present with yourself. Inhale, carry the arms up towards the ceiling. You can allow the eyes to open or you can keep the eyes closed throughout the practice, whatever feels best for you. Arms are straight. Wiggle the fingers. Pausing at center, make a fist with both hands. Open up the fingers nice and wide. Make a fist. Opening up the fingers nice and wide. One more time, make a fist, stay here. And then begin to move the wrists in a circular motion. Go the opposite way with the circles if you haven't already. Move slowly. Bringing the wrists back to neutral. You can release the fist that you were making with the fingers. And start to make a circle with both arms, allowing the movement to come from the shoulder. You can go as small as you want or as big as you want. Start to explore your own body, see what feels best for you right now. Exhale, carefully release both arms down onto the mat, ground the palms. Inhale, extend both legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Legs are straight. You could have a small bend in the knees if that feels a little bit better for you. Be mindful to not lock out the knees here. Wiggle your toes. Good, now circle the ankles. Go 
going the opposite way. Good, now start to find movement in the knees. You can circle the knees. Movement comes from the hips as well, circling the hips. There's no real pattern to these movements. You're just starting to find movement in the joint spaces. So whatever that looks like for you. Beautiful. Exhale, ground the feet onto the mat. Knees are bent. Grounding deeply into the left foot. Exhale, release the right leg all the way down onto the floor. Right leg is straight. Point all five toes of the right foot up towards the ceiling. Draw the navel in while maintaining a straight leg with the right leg. As you inhale, lift the right leg a couple inches off of the floor. Keep flexing the right foot. Lift it a little bit higher, but don't go past 90 degrees. You want to lift the right leg about 30 degrees off of the floor. Start to feel the quad engage. Breathing deeply. Exhale, slowly release the right leg down. Completely soften the right leg. Good, now re-engage that right leg. Flex the foot, all five toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Draw the navel in, small core engagement here. Keep the palms grounded onto the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg off of the floor. Feeling the quad engage. Take three breaths. Exhale, release the right leg down. Bend the right knee, ground the right foot onto the mat. Release the left leg all the way down. Flex the left foot, all five toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift the left leg away from the floor. Making sure don't come up very high. Feel the left quad this time begin to engage. Be mindful of the left knee. You don't want to lock the left knee and um, you don't want to have a bend in the left knee. So there's a nice happy medium in between those two spots. So you really want to feel the left quad engage. Pressing through the heel. Take one more breath, exhale, release. Relax the entire left leg before we go up again. 
Maybe you shake it out a little bit. Flex the left foot. Inhale, lift the left leg off of the floor. Holding here. Keep breathing deeply. Exhale, release the left leg down. Bend the left knee, ground the left foot onto the mat. Inhale, lift the feet off of the mat. Wrap the arms around the front of the shins, carefully hugging the knees in towards the chest. If you can't wrap the arms around the shins, you can always place the palms on top of the knees. Exhale, release the feet, grounding them onto the mat. Roll onto your left side, allow the knees to stack. Ground into the right hand and carefully press yourself all the way up. Let's come on to our hands and knees for a moment. Knees are hip width apart. Tuck your toes. Ground into the hands. Inhale, lift the knees off the mat. Pike your hips and come into your downward dog. Feet are hip width apart. Invite the heels down towards the floor. The heels may touch the mat, they may not. It's just your body and however you're feeling today. So if you're feeling tight in your calves or your hamstrings, keep a nice bend in the knees. Invite the sit bones up towards the ceiling, top of the chest towards the top of the thighs. Shoulder blades are gliding out and down the back, softening the back of the neck, and keep grounding into the palms, especially the pointer finger and the thumb. Once you feel your foundation of downward dog, come back to your deep full breath. Inhale, look in between the hands. Step the right foot forward. Release the left knee onto the mat. Untuck the toes of the left foot. So you may want to have some cushion underneath the left knee if you feel like the floor is hard and your mat isn't good enough. Sometimes if I feel like I'm having some discomfort in my knee that's grounded on the mat, I'll take a blanket, put it underneath there, or I'll put a pillow. So if that's happening to you, take a second and grab a blanket or a pillow. Good, now notice the right leg. Stack the right knee on top of the right ankle. Ground deeply into the right foot and feel yourself grounding into the right big toe, baby toe, and heel. So you feel nice and stable in the foot. Hips are level. Perfect. Now. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Inhale, carry the torso all the way up. Place the hands on top of the right thigh. Crown of the head lengthening up towards the ceiling. 
Nice long spine, small and core, small core engagement here. So we're starting to feel a little bit of a balancing act here. Focus on the right foot. And notice what your right knee is doing. So in this posture, when we start to engage the right leg, does your knee want to buckle in? Is it going out? Notice for yourself what's happening in the right knee. And try your best to focus on keeping it stacked on top of the right ankle. Gently inviting it to be in that position. Now, if you're feeling pain or discomfort in this position as you do that, make sure that you're not forcing it to go that way. Only go as far as you can, and sooner than later, you'll start to be able to stack the right knee on top of the ankle. Either stay right here, or inhale, carry the arms up overhead and see if you can keep grounding back into that left foot and inhale, lift the left knee off of the mat. Good, feet should be hip width apart. It will help with balance. Soften the shoulders. Keep focusing your attention on the right foot and what your right knee is doing. Take two more breaths. Exhale, release the arms down. If the left knee is lifted, slowly and carefully release the left knee onto the mat. Ground the hands onto the floor, untuck the toes of the left foot. Heel toe the right foot towards the right, releasing the right knee all the way back to meet the left. Retuck your toes, inhale, lift the knees off the mat, pike your hips, coming back into your downward dog. This time you can pedal the feet, releasing one heel and lifting the other, vice versa, going back and forth. Inhale, look in between the hands, step the left foot forward. Release the right knee onto the mat. Untuck the toes of the right foot. Maybe you put a pillow or a blanket underneath the right knee. Bring your attention to the left foot. Ground deeply into the left big toe, baby toe, and heel. Stack the left knee on top of the left ankle. It's not caving in or going out, and if it is, then gently invite it back towards center. Inhale, carry the torso all the way up. Stack the um, hands on top of the left thigh. Nice long spine. Maybe you stay right here, or you can inhale, lift the arms up overhead. You could even tuck the toes of the right foot and see if you can ground into the left foot, right toes, and lift the right knee off of the mat. If you're all the way up, make sure that the feet are hip width apart, still bringing your attention onto the left knee. Keep stacking it on top of the left ankle, moving towards the middle of the toes. Feeling the glutes working, quads. Couple more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
If the right knee is off of the mat, start to slowly exhale, bring it down onto the floor. Release the arms, untuck the toes of the right foot, ground the hands onto the mat. Good, tuck your right toes. Lift the right knee off of the mat so that you can step the right foot forward to meet the left. Exhale, forward fold. Let the torso lengthen over the legs. Feet are hip width apart. Keep a nice bend in the knees. Sway the hips from left to right. Going back and forth a couple times. Pausing at center. Place the hands onto the hips. Inhale with a long spine. Come all the way up into standing. Good. Come towards the top of your mat. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, begin to bend the knees and sit down into an imaginary chair. Sit bones are moving back towards the back wall, hinging from the hips. Now notice your knees. So when you begin to bend into your knees and you sit down in a squat, look down at your knees. Where do your knees go? Are they caving in? Do they feel like they're buckling out? Is one going in, one going out? Whatever your body is doing, start to become aware of that and then invite the knees to move towards the middle of the toes. So it's stacking again on top of the ankles. Feeling the big toe, baby toe heel, grounding on the mat in both feet. And imagine that you have a block in between the inner thighs and you're squeezing that imaginary block so your adductors are working. Bring some weight into the heels, feel the quads and the glutes engage. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly fold forward over the legs, releasing the torso all the way down towards the mat. Softening the upper body, relax the knees. Bend the knees as much as you have to to ground the palms onto the mat. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back. Release the knees onto the mat, untuck your toes. Down onto your glutes. Open up the knees wide, take the soles of the feet together. Leave space in between the front of the pelvis and the heels. So you actually in this position for today want to have a diamond shape in the leg. So the heels are farther away from the front of the pelvis. Place the hands onto the feet or onto the shins, whatever feels best. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently carry the torso forward. Inhale, lengthen back through center, nice and slow. Straighten the legs. Perfect, and that is it. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.